Welcome to the Lift Your Story podcast with guest, Sydney Clevenger. Hi, everyone. I am Laurieann. I am back out from Milton, Ontario, Canada, and I'm with... I am that guy. I am Roy Miller from Dallas, Texas, and we'd like to welcome you to our Lift Your Story podcast. So in this episode, we're pleased to have Sydney Clevenger, and he is Super Sid, and he helps people to attract leads online for free. Thank you so much for being with us today, Sid. Yes. Oh, awesome. Thank you all so much uh, for coming. And I didn't even know this, but one of you all is in Dallas and now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> um, so that's why um, <laughs> yeah, that's why I knew everything. As he said, he had a brother or a friend and I'm like, okay, so he has a friend. He comes here and visits. No, no, I live in Dallas. I'm like, you idiot. Like, come on now. <laughs> um, but um, no, so glad, so glad to be on here and just super excited to, you know, you know, help somebody win today. Yeah. So I love the name Super Sid. I think that's, I think that's great. <laughs> That's real catchy. You know, people are like, super, what's so super about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife asks that question all the time. <laughs> so, um, mm-hmm. so you're, you do online, online lead generation for mm-hmm. free. That's, that's kind of an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess you could say that. You know, the online space has definitely grown a lot over the past decade. And, um, you know, there's – A lot of things, including things like being on this podcast that helps, you know, bring awareness and drive, you know, ultimately drive, um, you know, people who are listening to you that you can help uh, with the things that you're talking about or your natural gifts that, you know, you know, that your maker gave you um, and they ultimately get attracted to you. And and, and we want to look to drive them to a single destination, to a place where they can learn how to get help from you. Right. So really um, a big part of what I teach is, you know, really helping people with building out those destinations, helping people with setting up their prospecting channels and, and being able to really, you know, attract people consistently. that are looking for them help their help and identify those people as people that need their help so they can go out there and ultimately, um, you know, um, aim to, to help the people that are raising their hand. And you're doing this organically. Primarily. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, we do thing. it organically. We follow um, a system that I created that has five prospecting channels in it. And um, ultimately, the way it's built is it's built around the idea that each prospecting channel will build momentum. And then the next one will stack and build momentum on top of that. So, you know, ultimately, what we're looking to do is, is we're, you know, there's a lot of times there's people that are doing things online, um, you know, when it just unconsciously a lot of times and they, and they end up showing you unconsciously a lot of times just through automatic movements and things they do without thinking that they are interested or that they are, you know, they are wanting to learn more. And ultimately the big part of that is just by building kind of a map um, through destinations and ultimately, you know, basically kind of guiding people through this map to ultimately get to where they want to get to with you, which usually is helping them get over that problem, over that challenge or to that, goal target or destination that they have in their head yeah i mean the online space is so big and it changes so much so fast Mm -hmm. that you know people spend all this time putting together a website you know Mm -hmm. instead of just paying somebody to do it the Mm -hmm. learning curve is so is so hard and so Mm -hmm. expensive in online and anything you can do to cut that saves you so much time and money and, you know, lead generation is always a big thing for people mm-hmm. in online marketing. That's, that's their biggest, one of the biggest costs they have. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think a lot of people that, you know, you know, when you look at the classic business model, the classic, the classic business model from, you know, forever, probably back when people were making fire for other people, uh, you know, you know, you first, you know, you first got to get leads. You got to have demand, right? So you got to have people that, so you're looking to, you know, obviously, you know, you know, if you think about this, 99% of businesses operate this way. You're going to create something, right? You're going to be a business which does something for something, right? You're going to go out there. You're going to get leads, right? You're then going to, once you get those leads, you're then going to take those leads and you're going to sell to those people and make sales off of those leads, right? And then the third and final step is, is once you make those sales off those people, you're then going to fulfill the sales that you made and then simply go and do what? Go get leads again, go fulfill again. I mean, go make sales again, go fulfill again. If you think about 99% of businesses and you break them down, that are the three steps that they do and that they follow. And, you know, still a part of that is being able to generate leads. So I think it's a really great thing because really to be successful online, you have to be able to attract people to you that are consistently around you that need your help. And if you don't have anybody around you that doesn't need your help, you're just not going to have a business. You're going to have a blog 
and you know, and you're not really going to be helping everybody every day. So, you know, ultimately, you know, to get started, we need to not necessarily go out there and generate leads. We need to go out there and attract leads to us that ultimately need our help. And we do that through, you know, going out there online and ultimately talking about and demonstrating every single day, how it is that we can help people. Yeah. Build it and they will come is not the way it works. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think, um, you know, Peter Pan, there's a story about Peter Pan. I don't know, you know, I'm super Sid, so we can talk about other cartoons, right? <laughs> um, there's a story about Peter Pan that I talk a lot about, and it's all about like, you know, it's one thing to say something, you know, say I, you can do something, right? It's, and this is a big part of this. It's one thing to say you can do something. Hey, I'm super Sid, and I can teach you how to fly, right? Well, Peter teaches people how to fly, right? Hey, I'm super Sid, and I can teach you how to fly. Or, hey, I'm Peter Pan, and I can teach you how to fly. It's another thing to have, say, Wendy come out and say, Oh, well, you don't have to believe Peter, but believe me, I've seen him do it. Believe me, I know you can know how to fly. That's another way of doing it, you know. But you're still telling, you're still talking to people, right? So, yeah, you might get some people that know and trust Wendy. They're going to say, yeah, yeah, maybe. So maybe 5% or 5 of the 100 people might say yes. But until Peter Pan actually gets some, pick, you know, gets some, um, some of Tinkerbell's, um, oh, crap, lost my <laughs> fairy mm -hmm. dust put on him, right? Until he thinks that happy thought, until he does his twirl, until he goes up and actually flies over the 100 people, lands on the other side, turns around and says, now, who wants to see me fly? Until he's actually able to demonstrate through what it is that he does and what it is that he's about to teach or what it is that he helps people do every day, is he ever going to be able to build the massive momentum that he's, I'm sure, wants to be able to attract people to him constantly that's going to need his help? They need to see him do it. And that's exactly why this quote of success begets success works consistently 100% of the time. Because if you're having success doing the things that you, it is that you teach people that you're doing or that is that people pay you to do, they are literally watching you every single day demonstrate and have success with what it is that you're going to teach them. So they're watching you do it. They're not hearing you talk about doing it. And by watching you do it every day, they're literally, it's like, you know, they're like, oh my gosh, I want to do that. Oh my gosh, I want to do that. And, you know, really that's a huge secret when it comes to attracting people that need your help to you every single day. I like yeah. Peter Pan. I love Peter Pan. <laughs> I got yeah, this pop-up book I have Peter Pan in my syndrome. office. You probably have the syndrome too. I have the Peter Pan syndrome. I never, oh, want, never to want to grow up. Never want to grow up. I mean, oh, ever. You grow older, nah. but never want to grow old. 33 year old kid. I think, you know, I was telling you, I wanted to, uh, <laughs> Before, right before Super, the reason Super Sid came for my wife. Why? Because she didn't want me calling myself the professional child. <laughs> she said, I will not be married to the professional child. Okay, you win. <laughs> hero uh, acting hero. So, well, oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, so there, there's so much. I mean, there's, there's the marketing and then there's the organic marketing. And of course, mm -hmm. there's finding those leads and so on. Um, there's so many people talking about it. So, Mm -hmm. Just curious, what makes you different? Um, well, I think, you know, the big thing with me is, is like, I'm talking about attraction. So like, you know, generation is something completely different. You know, we don't really, you know, generating something typically means you go out there and you, you know, drum it up out of thin air. Um, the truth is, is there's already a lot of people out there that need your help, right? I mean, like, and when you go out there and you do exactly what I just said and you demonstrate on a daily basis, obviously there's things and there's tactical things that you do on social media, but those are things that are changing, right? So me going over, oh, you should go live. Oh, you should do this. That's going to change in the next two weeks. The biggest thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you are putting your best stuff out there and that you're doing it consistently. And that's one thing on social media that's never going to change. I think the biggest thing with me that you're going to get, you know, and what makes me a lot different is like, how many other superheroes do you see out there on social media? And I think really where that ties back into is I'm going to teach and I'm going to show you how to not only, you know, be a superhero, but I'm going to help show you how to build your superpower of natural gifts. You don't got to learn anything. You don't got to go. The truth is, is you have currency built inside of you that not only your maker made, but through the experiences that you've been able to go through and win with already in your life. Each one of those experiences that you've won in your life is, an est is a testimony to something that you can help with somebody else in their life. Did you go out there and be able to, you know, um, did you go out there and be able to, um, sorry, be able to, you know, scrape the snow off your driveway, you know, in 30 minutes or less because you hate the snow and you don't want to be outside. Whereas everybody else, it takes them an hour or for you, it's common sense. But for someone like me who lives in Texas and two weeks ago, we were under ice for the first time ever. 
I'm going to want to reach out to you because guess what? That information is going to shrink time for me. And that information is going to help me get to my designated result in my life a lot faster. And you got to remember people buy things from people so that they can um, shrink time, right? Yeah. Time is it involved in all of this. Why do people buy courses? So they can learn the stuff to do so they can make money in what? Shorter time. Why do people go watch tutorials on YouTube so they can learn something and be able to do it in shorter time? Why do people hire Sid? Because they want to be able to get something done in shorter time. Why do people go and hire you or buy something from you? Because it's going to make them be able to do something in shorter time. It's going to help them be more effective. So, you know, what makes, uh, I think I answered your question within that answer, but you know, with really what you want to make sure that you're doing with everything that you're doing when you're attracting people to you online for free or when you're building your business, whether online or offline, is exactly how are you helping people shrink time? How are you helping people be more effective with their time and their life? Yeah, definitely. Cutting the learning curve to me is so important. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And it, mean, it's so fast now. I mean, like, gosh, every day I wake up and there's a new gadget. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have to be careful too, though. There's so many people saying that I'm going to short the crowd. I mean, it, it, you know, I don't know how many courses are out there and, you so know, many. it's like, well, overwhelming so sometimes. Uh, yeah. And I really think that find the right fit, right? Super said, I would imagine that you understand that you got to fight to find the right fit, the right person who you can. You can well, yes with. and no, but there's a trick to that, right? So when you're attracting people to you, um, obviously I attract a lot of people to me that are just like me. Yeah. You attract who you are, right? Not who you, not who are, who are you are becoming. And like, you know, there's this whole thing with potential and, you know, a lot of people are confused and I bring this up. My opinion is one of the worst uh, words in the English language, period. Potential. I hate that word. I was told that word my entire life growing. See, you got so much potential. Bullshit. People fall in love with potential. They fall in love with the idea of something somebody could be or something somebody wants to be, but they don't realize that that potential is not real. You're falling in love with an idea of something that is not real. So, you know, yes, it, first of all, so I don't know how I got down that tangent, but let's try to make sure I do that a lot. You know, I get going on something and then, you know, completely forgot how I got there. Um, but, you know, one thing I want to make sure that we don't do is we don't fall in love with potential. We don't fall in love with the idea that something could happen or something that could, because all that is, is error and a thought. Yes. Billion dollar ideas first started with thought, but we got to have put action behind that thought for them to happen. Period. So don't fall in line uh, with potential in regards to attracting people and being there's so many things to do. I think what's so important about that is, you know, kind of another one liner, but people do business with people, not with profiles. So like if I put myself out there, if I put really who I am, super Sid out there with my extroverted personality, with my, you know, Southern accent, with my, you know, extrovertedness, there's going to be people that say he probably knows the exact same thing that's in that other course, or he probably knows the exact, but people are not doing business because of the course they bought. They're doing business because they want to learn this stuff from super Sid, right? People do business from people, not from profiles, right? I mean, and this is a perfect example. It's kind of like this. Think about your insurance agent for a second. If you know even who they are <laughs> at this point, um, but think about your insurance agent for a second or your realtor. A realtor is a really good one too. Did you do, did you, you know, go and do the biggest purchase of your house with the real estate agent, you know, because you know, sometimes people go and just pick, they don't know anybody in the town or whatever, but you know, like if you have a friend who's a real estate agent, did you go with that friend or did you go with someone that you knew or was recommended to you by a friend? Right. Why was that? Why did you do that? Right. Or did you just go onto Facebook and randomly find somebody talking about real estate and say, Oh, they're pretty. I'm going to go do business with them. No. <laughs> No. Right. you made a connection with them. You trusted them. They built an authority in your eyes that they were the person to go to when it came to about that thing. So, yeah, we always talk about, you know, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Well, to know you, they got to see you. To like you, they got to like you. They got to, you know, like your personality. You got to be who you are. And don't get me wrong. There's a lot of people that don't like Super Sid. <laughs> there's a lot of people that can't stand Super Sid. He's too much in my face. He talks too much. He's loud. I get it. Those people were never going to buy from me in the first place. So why do I care? I only care about 
you know, I forget who it was that pointed this, but it's, it is, it's, you know, so much easier to make a million dollars with a thousand of people that absolutely love you than it will ever be to make a million dollars with a million people that kind of know who you are or kind of like you. Yep. The reason that is, is because those thousand people are going to love you so much. They're going to live and they're going to die with you. And if you think about it, how hard is it for you to make a thousand friends? Is it really that hard, especially with things like social media, podcasting, you know, I mean, how many, how hard is it for you to connect with a thousand people and help and, and every time that you purposely connect with those thousand people, give them something that you can help them with that, you know, while you're in front of them so that you can possibly help them win that day. And then if you go out there and you help them win that day and you do it with a thousand people. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have a circle of a thousand people around you that you helped win. What do you think is going to happen with you in the middle of that circle of a thousand people winning? Oh my Lordy. You're going to be winning as well because you're surrounded by nothing but abundance and winning. So winning in life starts with you reaching out and helping somebody else win first. It isn't going to come to you. So let's make sure that we go out there and we win by helping somebody else win first. That's huge. Yep. I'm sorry. I, I was sort of chuckling when you said, "How hard is it to make you know a thousand friends?" You say for some people, it's probably pretty hard. Oh no, <laughs> no, I, I get that. For me, it's like nothing. I get that, but understand, like, <laughs> what I mean, like, I'm not saying go be buddy buddy and like y'all are gonna sing oh. kumbaya in your backyard. What I mean though is like making connection with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, like I'm you know, when kidding. I say friend, you know, what was my mimi? Well, I say mimi, but my grandma, my grandmother used to tell me it's like. You know, what is it that you could do for that person that is going to make them remember? You know, those people that are random people in your life yeah. that you just like, there's this person that I met at the airport that I should never have remembered, but they always stick out in my mind, right? Wow. And I always remember that person. How, what can you do today for somebody that, that where you can be that? My grandmother used to drill that into me, you know, like, you know, be that extra person, be that person that they're never going to forget. And then like my grandfather used to always, and this is a real big thing about me that I talk a lot about. Um, but as you know, always aim at getting consistently 1% one, 1 better every day. And when you get 1% better every day, every three or four days of getting 1% better, that one of those days, you're going to automatically, you're not going to get 1% better. You're going to get 5% better, right? It's going to exponentially start growing. It's going to start building momentum. It's going to start getting faster. And thank you to the universe, right? All of a sudden doors and opportunities after three or four days of consistently getting 1% better and doing things on purpose, new doors and new opportunities are going to show up in your life that you didn't even know were there. I can't explain it. I'm not going to try to explain it. I know which, okay. And I'm definitely not the universe, but I will tell you this every single time I've done it, something good's happened. You know, it's funny because I had a, my favorite uncle. I remember when I was a little bitty kid, he always said, be the nice guy because mm -hmm. everyone likes the nice guy. Everybody wants to do business with happy people. Yeah. Dale Carnegie uh, said that in his, your uncle, but then Dale Carnegie also said that in how to win friends and influence people in the third chapter, which was all about smiling. I mean, like if you, you know, if you're standing next to somebody, you know, I am consciously always trying to smile and it's a hard thing. You know, I haven't always smiled in this interview, you know, as I've been thinking and you know, and I'm, and I'm thinking and I'm putting words together, but you know, when you can purposely smile and I hate my smile, I got an underbite, you know, like I've never liked my smile. I used to get made fun of, you know, because my smile was different. Um, I can't show my top teeth, right? It's an underbite. So like I used to always like be conscientious of it. So I wouldn't smile. And then I would hide my smile under my beard. And then I remember, I'll never forget this. Um, I, I was sitting down and we had a mentor one time and we were in Las Vegas visiting with this mentor. And part of this was like a hot seat. So you sit down and he has like an hour, like chat with you, you and him. And the, I'm going in there and I'm all thinking he's going to help me do all these amazing things when it comes to building my business. And he sets me down. And the first question he asked me, he said, so are you happy? And I said, well, yeah, I'm happy. I'm, I'm really happy. Like, why wouldn't I be happy? I'm in Las Vegas. I'm hanging out with you. This is one of my like bucket list things. Like, you know, I'm getting to do this. This is awesome. And he said, well, you might want to tell your face. <laughs> that was, and like the two minute and like every, you know, I mean, I remember like this was something like, you know, we went to this guy's mansion in Vegas and like, this is a huge buildup. We had paid all this money to do this thing and we go do this. And then I'm sitting down and then the first two minutes, you know, so I'm building up in my head, like what is going to happen? Playing potential there right there. Right. Like playing up what could happen when I have no idea. 
And, um, you know, and I'm going and I sit down and then he completely had me on tilt, you know, like after the first two minutes, I was completely lost. No idea where the conversation was going. Couldn't plan out anything. And he, and he literally just completely stripped me naked and was like, all right, let's look, let's go in how we're going to help you. And it was just so masterfully done. But, um, but what he meant by that was, was, you know, I didn't smile a lot and it was mainly just because I was very intense. Like I was always thinking, I was always thinking, I was always thinking about the next thing. My mind never stops. And if you're creative listening to this in any way, you're probably gonna know what I'm talking about. We're always thinking, we're always doing, we're always innovating, you know, what can we build next? And, um, so that's all it was, but people would look at me and almost be intimidated to want to come and meet me or talk to me simply because it didn't look like I was smiling. Yeah. So <laughs> I thought this guy was going to help me with, um, you know, all this business, huge business stuff, right. That he's all well known for. And we sit down for an hour and the whole conversation was about smiling on purpose. That's amazing. And to sit down and be honest with you, you know, I paid $85,000 for that conversation to uh to sit down and you know or you know obviously it was part of a package but you know yeah. ultimately to have that and you know to sit down and really be honest with you if i take a look back at it purposely smiling has probably made me 10 times that you know really oh yeah i mean every bit of it you know i mean obviously it's non-direct but every time i've spoken on stage every time i've done a show like this every time i've been on a phone call even though if they can't see me and i'm purposely smiling you know, I mean, you add all that stuff up every time I do a live video and it gets us a lead or it gets us a client and I'm purposely smiling and not being intense. Y'all that's hundreds of times a week. I mean, like hundreds of all conversations. So of course, yeah, absolutely. It's interesting too, because people cannot actually hear it. I mean, even when I do, you know, the intros for these, I was doing one last night. I was super tired. <laughs> I'm going, yeah. Welcome to the, you know, and then I'm thinking, yeah. what are you doing? I mean, it was very that monotone, bad, but it was, and... it was more monotone. I thought I sat up, literally sat up, you know, breathe in and started thinking really happy and what a difference in my tone of voice. And, but well, I'll tell you I, what, in tone, you know, was 80% of what we say. So, mm -hmm. I mean, like, you know, like it's never the words coming out of our mouth. It's, you know, I mean, body language and tone each are more important than actually the words that come out of our mouth. And, you know, uh, tone is such an important aspect. And when we're on these podcasts or we're on these, you know, the phone or we're on Skype or we're on uh, Skype, Skype, what is it? 2008. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, but we're on, uh, it's like, I'm talking about AOL, um, but we're on Skype or, you know, we're on, uh, I did it again. We're on zoom or we're on stream, whatever it might be. Right. And I think, you know, getting to sit here and like, all you have of me is you have a rectangle and then yep. what you see in that rectangle, that's all you see. You might not see that I got a tripod right off the screen here, another tripod right here. I got two lights right here. I got two lights back here. I got two lights up there. You all can't see that, right? But what you can see is what's in the screen. So, you know, understanding and just being conscious of, hey, I have the chance to influence somebody. I have the ability of basically here up. And I also have the ability of what comes out of my, what comes out of my, my mouth, Right. So like, what am I going to be able to do to be able to either to help somebody with my words and ultimately chest up? And there are things that you can do consciously that are going to do things like keep people listening to the show longer. Um, you know, being, uh, you know, there are things like, you know, uh, direct commands and, you know, NLP language and, you know, things like prepositions and suppositions where I can connect things like emotion and logic into, and, and make the brain do like think certain ways. There are ways to do that. And it's extremely powerful at the end of the day, though, we just got to be putting our best stuff out there consistently y'all. And then when we put our best stuff out there consistently, we're going to attract people to us like crazy. And you're so right about the tone. That's why when, you know, I can't stand emails and texts because yeah. you can be saying something as a joke. I'm definitely a video. I'm definitely an audio visual. So you sound like you are too. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. I joke with my wife. I'm like, you can send me a five page sales letter and it could have been, and it could be a sales letter that has made millions of dollars and perfectly written in every way. I ain't going to get past the first paragraph. Yeah. I just don't read it. Like, you know, which is crazy because I actually read books. My mm -hmm. wife listens to books, but she's the kinesthetic. She listens, but she's the kinesthetic. I read and I'm the audio visual, but everything else, and I don't know why. I think it's because I read so slow. It allows my mind to kind of build as I read. I read insanely slow. Um, me too. Yeah, but but I'm, 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 I'm like I'm like as I'm reading, it's like watching an episode of TV in my head. Like, yes. That's kind of what it's like when I'm reading. I'm a very visual learner. Um, but yeah, so I think you know, just just you know, at the end of the day, you know, this pod, you know, I'm just as an example. 
this podcast is me putting out 30 minutes, an hour of my time. I'm going over some great things that I think might be able to help you and your audience. And there's a good chance a lot of people from my audience are going to come check this out. Um, you're going to send it out to your list of people that have either listen to this show consistently and anybody that clicks on it ultimately because they want to possibly grow a business online or they do stuff on social media or maybe they want to attract leads to them online for free and they want to know what in the world they can hear me say, they're going to come on and listen. Now, this is a bank term and I hate banks, so I'm going to steal their term. This is a bank term, but by we're going to look to get people who stick and then basically who people who stick from this podcast and go over to things like my profile funnel, go and get into my world. Ultimately, through getting into my world, that's going to give them more opportunities to what? Let me know that they came to my world, they're here, and that they're looking for my help. We then put lead magnets that basically allow them to get into worlds like our Facebook community or group, get into worlds that ultimately allow them to start getting help from us and allow them to start raising their hand more consistently so that we can start reaching out to them on purpose and helping them with what it is that we help people with. It's really that simple. I love this slow reading thing too. And I always said, that's why I was such a good editor because I read so, yeah. so I read word for word. But I'm like from you, Kentucky. I'm from alive. Kentucky girl. I suck at editing. My <laughs> wife, she, she edits everything for me. Um, yeah, she, uh, it's funny. So this is my process for writing. I actually don't sit down and write a lot. I um, talk into my phone yeah. and then I go to, um, you know, there's many websites, but I get it transcribed. So yeah. I'll go get it transcribed. You can go to a software and get it done. Um, for a dollar a minute in most places. Um, and that's how most books get written now. A lot of people know that. Most people will go to a room and they'll sit in front of a mic like this, pull up QuickTime, or to be honest with you, pull up their iPhone, talk into their iPhone, get it transcribed, go get a book editor, pay three cents a word, get their book written that way. Their book, they can pump out a book in a month. Yeah. I mean, it's crazy how easy it is yeah. to write a book now. Yeah. Yeah. So. Anyway, like the course, right? You write your, you know, in what was it in 10 days or people who have done it in four days. Oh yeah. I've written, yeah. I wrote my book in I think seven days. My wife wrote hers in like 14. And all we did was, is, you know, I mean, there, you know, you want to theme it out um, obviously, but you know, once you theme it out, it's just a matter of you going in and just talking and each yeah. chapter is usually around eight to 12 minutes um, of audio. Usually I have one chapter that's like 47, but there's a lot of meat in there. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so, I mean, you know, it's, it's just, uh, that's how I do it. And then literally just a section it out. And then I just literally just talk each section by section, each section's a couple minutes. Very cool. Yeah, it's really, really easy to do for sure. Well, Sydney, so how can our, how can our listeners reach out to you? Well, I think the best way to get in touch with us is like we talked about and talked about on our, on this show, the best way to reach out to us isn't coming and hanging out with us in our world. Um, you know, we call it a world of winning, but it's our Facebook community. Um, it's an absolutely free community. We have thousands of purpose-driven entrepreneurs in that community, um, all looking to do one thing and that's win and um, ultimately, you know, win with their superpower, win with their natural gift and win um, on social media. So what you're going to get when you get into that community is um, we have daily shows every single single day. Um, you know, people like on Monday, you know, people like our accountant, our sales manager, me, myself, every Wednesday and my wife, Tiffany Toombs, all helping you and gearing you into things with mindset, getting rid of self-sabotage, um, online, uh, attracting leads to you online for free, getting PPP loans of $20,000 or more for free from the government. That's kind of important. I had like $23,000 drop into my account earlier this year from PPP. Yay. I don't have to pay it back either. You'll learn how to do that in there. You know, we're going to be going, uh, my sales manager um, works with a little guy named Jordan Belfort. Um, if you ever seen the Wolf of Wall Street, that's who Leonardo DiCaprio he works with Jordan Belfort from the Wolf of Wall Street and does a lot of his sales training and stuff like that. He runs my sales team. Um, so all of those people in there are then in there putting on a show for you every single week um, and allowing you to come and watch these shows, watch these trainings, watch this content, you know, every single day for half an hour, hour, so that you can go out there and be able to, um, you know, be able to literally, you know, become a purpose-driven entrepreneur out there winning every single day. Why? Because we all win when we all win. So we, to come and to join that community, you can head over to www.successsecretsgroup.com. And when you head over to that webpage, you're going to see a video of me and my wife welcoming you to the community. Simply click on that button and then go fill out a short three-question questionnaire to come into the group. We simply just want to make sure that our group is of real people looking to be 
purpose-driven entrepreneurs. So just make sure to fill that stuff out for us. And then we'll let you into the community, make sure to give you a big hello. And then of course, um, you know, invite you to come to all the amazing things that we have inside that community. So again, you can just head over to www.successsecretsgroup.com or simply just find me on Facebook over at Sid Clevenger I'm on Facebook and um, simply just, um, you'll be able to see and all the links and all the things that you can get involved with me over there. What is Sid? Can they not just put in Super Sid to find you? Super Sid! Uh, if you go over to my IG, it's Super Sid official. Yeah, but on Facebook, <laughs> yeah, I get, Super Sid on Facebook's a little much, so uh, <laughs> we don't do that. Well, we really appreciate all of this. Love of your information. It was great. Absolutely. Yeah. Hopefully, a piece of it helps somebody today. That's that's all I aim for. That's well, it great. helped us for sure. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. The, the tips you gave great. us were great, man. We appreciate it. Awesome. Well, I hope, like I said, um, thank you so much for having me on. Like I said, all I, all I hope for is that, you know, this helped somebody that's listening to this, um, you know, um, that you all know um, win today. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm a big believer that we all win when we all win. And um, if we go out there and we help somebody else win today, I'm a true believer that just by helping one person win today, um, win today that, you know, that you helped win is just, easily and naturally going to do only one thing and that's going to help you win because of it so um you know let's make sure that we go out there and help somebody else win today because it's going to help us do nothing but the same great fantastic great thank you thank you for listening to this episode be sure to visit us at lifterstory.com